boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the video of the read aloud. Okay, so fire safety is a very important topic that we talk about. So I'm gonna ask you a question. What number do you call if you need help? What was it? <gasps> nice job, you call 911 if you need help. Okay, so we're gonna talk about how to call 911 and your families can show you on their phones exactly how to do this because if there's a fire or if you need help, if, if there's something going wrong in your house or you can't wake someone up or if things go wrong and you can talk to your families about those things. But, so I have my phone here. Oh, look, there's a picture of my kids and me at their dance recital. So say your parents have a code on their phone and you don't know how to get in. So it's gonna come up like this. And down here at the bottom, it says emergency. So your family can show you this on their phone. And this is if you don't know how to get into it. So you would click emergency and it'll bring up this screen here. It looks the same. And then you click 911. Okay, 911. And you're gonna practice that with your family. And then you click the call button down here at the bottom. And I'm not gonna push that because I don't need to call 911 right now. And it's really important that you only call this number if you need a police officer or a fireman or someone to come help you at your house, okay? So like I said, your family will talk to you more about that. But that's how you do that. Now, if you do know how to get into their phone, your family will show you how to do that and exactly where you go to push and call because everyone's phone is a little bit different. So you will wanna left, definitely look at your families. So they'll show you how to do that. The next thing we like to talk about about fire safety is smoke detectors. And this is kind of one that isn't exactly the same in everyone's house. Um, they recommend that you have a smoke detector in every bedroom. Um, they also recommend that you keep your door shut when you sleep. That way, if there would be a fire in another place in the house, um, the fire wouldn't spread to your room as easily. So that, that's an important thing for moms and dads and grandparents and everyone to, to talk about at their house is the smoke detector thing. Um, I know most people have one in their kitchen or in their hallways right beside of their kitchen. You need one in your kitchen. Um, a lot of fires could start in the kitchen because you're cooking and doing things there. Um, and if you, if anything ever catches on fire, what are you supposed to do? Get out and stay out. So your family should practice where you would go. If there was a fire, you need a meeting place. So when we say go out and stay out, we mean if your favorite toy is inside, you don't go back in for it. You don't go back in for your pets. You just get out of the house if there's a fire. You can yell for your family and head outside. Um, never hide if there's a fire. Um, it's really important if you would get stuck in your house, you would need to get down really low to the ground, okay? And even you can cover up your face, but don't hide. If someone comes to look for you and they look scary in that fireman costume, then you'll know that they're there to help you, okay? And some of the videos have shown you exactly what they'll look like. Okay, so those are just some important things. What do you do if you catch on fire? What if your shirt catches on fire? Okay, you're gonna practice it for me. You stop, drop down, and roll to put the fire out, okay? So go ahead and practice. Stop, drop, and roll. Are you doing that? I'm gonna get the next activity ready. Okay, so you probably had time. What letter is this? F. Nice job, kiss your brain. Okay, what sound does the F make? Listen in. The F says, nice job. Okay, so what should you do with this F? You can color it, you can put stickers on it, and you can, you guessed it, cut it out. Okay, so that's today. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to decorate this beautiful F. We have a whole collection of letters. Okay, the next thing, families, that we're going to get out is this. And it is a worksheet that says cut out the numbers and paste them under the correct place. If you were at school, I'd probably already have these cut out and we'd just be matching. But since you're at home, you get to cut and glue. So 
our job is to count and then choose the number down here that matches the pictures. So how many fire trucks do we have? One, two. Do you see the two? Ooh, a little shaky this morning. Two, right there. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut out all my numbers and have them ready. But if you choose, you can wait and just cut one out at a time. And you find the right one. So I'm cutting on the dotted line. So I'm going to set my paper down. And I'm going to cut through all the dotted areas. You guys are good at cutting. All right, so I found my number two. Okay. Now I have my glue stick. Here it is. You have your glue stick. If you, whenever you need another one, just let me know and I'll drop one off. Okay, so I have the glue. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of my little paper here. Or you can put it underneath where the fire trucks are. And I'll show you where you can put that. Right here. So you can put your glue right there if you need to. Whichever place is fine. That might be the least messy. So then I'm going to take my number two, and I'm going to glue it right here in that little box. What kind of shape is that? It's a rectangle. Nice job. Okay. So then we're going to see how many fireman hats there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now I need my number six. Oh, look, I found my number six. I'm gonna glue again and put it right in that area underneath the fireman hat. And you are going to go ahead and finish doing this for all of them. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm gonna get my number twelve, which is a one and a two. Remember when we cut, our thumb goes in, fingers go here, up and down, up and down, thumb stays up. I'm going to glue and put the 12. Oh, I had it upside down. Right there. Okay, let's go down to the bottom. Ooh, these are things we're just parents might use, the matches. And the lighter. So now we're going to count the lighters that the parents might need to use. One, two, three, four, five. That one's kind of cut off. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I need my number eleven. So I'm going to cut that out. And my number eleven looks like this. One, one. And I'm going to glue it to the picture. Get the glue there. Okay, let's see how many ambulances there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I need my number nine. I already have it cut out. I'm going to glue it down there. Now let's see how many flames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to find the number seven and glue it right there at the end. You guys are doing a really nice job today. Okay, so now we have seven. Make sure you write your name at the top and you're all done this activity. Okay. We're going to do one more. Okay, and it, families, if at this point your child is done, that's okay. Um, I am doing more activities than we would normally do at school probably because at school things typically pop up and we don't always get everything done that we plan. But you live in a perfect world at home, right? So you can get all of these activities done. No interruptions at all. <laughs> okay, so we're doing fire patterns. I'm being silly in case you didn't know. <laughs> We're going to cut out the box at the bottom. 
I already started. Okay, so then I'm gonna keep cutting so that I have each of my little squares cut out. Square and uh, square. So that's the shape of the week is the square because it has four sides that are equal unless I'm cutting and then sometimes they're not equal but that's a square and it has four points okay so we write our name at the top and then we look to, to see what the pattern is truck fire extinguisher truck what comes next kiss your brain if you said a fire extinguisher so then I'm going to put that right there and you can either glue it families or you can just leave this and you can play it more than one time and you can practice the patterns if you don't glue it down. So I'm not going to glue it down because I might want to use it again. Okay, so then we have water hose, hat, water hose, hat. Nice job. So I'm going to put the hat right here. Okay, and then we have fire fireman, fire fireman. Kiss your brain if you said fire is next. Now we're gonna do, oh, we have a cone. That's like a safety thing to put up. They might put them around where there's a, a unsafe situation so that you know not to go there. A cone, an ax, a shield, a cone. This is a little bit different, isn't it? This has three things that are gonna repeat. So we have cone, ax, shield. Cone, what came after the cone? The ax. We're gonna put the ax right there. Okay, so you can practice patterning and you can color this to make it nice and pretty so that you have a pretty game to play. And you can share with your brothers or your sisters or your cousins or your aunts or your uncles and show them that you know how to pattern. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out to me, families. Thanks, bye.